Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and here at The Hangar Project, we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my small but growing collection of watches for those of you who have asked about them. Since I was a teenager, I've always been fascinated by mechanical watches. The idea that you could have something so complex, designed and built completely by hand, and something as small as a watch was always so incredible to me. You don't own a mechanical watch like this merely to tell time, but rather because it is a complex mechanical work of art. Another thing that I absolutely love about a nice mechanical watch is the nostalgia behind the idea that these are created and crafted the same way today, completely by hand, that they have been for centuries. For as little as a few thousand dollars, you can really find a nice vintage or pre-owned timepiece that is fully mechanical. You don't have to spend $50,000 on a Patek Philippe in order to appreciate the work and craftsmanship behind a fine mechanical watch. As I've gotten older, I've really come to appreciate the idea of owning fewer things of a higher quality. All of my timepieces have a relationship, a story, and an experience behind them that just give them so much rich meaning. I look forward to sharing these stories with you in this video. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. So my first nice mechanical watch was actually a gift for my late grandfather, whom we called Daddy Boy. And I'll never forget the story of this particular watch. It makes it so special to me. I remember being in my grandfather's living room and he was wearing this Rolex Datejust that he'd received as a promotion at work. And I asked him if I could wear it. And he said, sure. And so he handed me the watch and I put it on my wrist. And I just remember shaking the watch on my wrist and saying, wow, daddy boy, you can really feel the difference of a fine watch. And I'll never forget, he looked at me and said, Kirby, why don't you keep it? Not only was this an absolutely incredible gift, especially for a college kid, this experience in so many ways personifies what I remember most about my grandfather. And that was his incredible generosity he would give you the shirt off his back if he thought you needed it. It absolutely mesmerized me how the second hand of a Rolex appears to be sweeping continuously across the dial, but in reality it's moving at five distinct ticks per second. This is an incredibly special and meaningful watch to me that I'll never get rid of and look forward to passing down to my children one day. My next watch is this Chopard Perpetual Calendar, which was a gift for my wife on my 30th birthday. The Perpetual Calendar of all the complications has always been the one with which I've been most fascinated. The idea that a completely mechanical timepiece can keep perfect track of the date and time for over 100 years, accounting for leap years and days of the month, is completely incredible to me. This is a watch that I'd been admiring through a shop window for over a year before my wife surprised me with it. In 1992, whenever this watch was built, it cost over $36,000. We were able to acquire it pre-owned for less than $10,000. The 36 millimeter gold dial makes this an incredibly classic, elegant watch that I can wear both during the day and at night. One of the things that I did to make this watch even more versatile was that I had Jean Rousseau make several quick release bands for me that allows me to very quickly switch out the color of the band. So if I want a more formal band at nighttime, I can switch it out with the black one. If I want something more casual for daytime wear, I've got this beautiful brown strap. And so the quick release allows you to very quickly and very easily switch out the bands at home. This watch has earned me a lot of compliments by people who respect watches and has been a timepiece that I absolutely cherish. This next watch is an Art Deco Illinois pocket watch from the 1920s that was a gift from a dear close friend and mentor of mine. What I especially love about this pocket watch is the beautiful Art Deco watch chain that it comes with. I especially enjoy wearing a pocket watch and chain uh, in my vest or lapel. It's just another beautiful way to accessorize a fine suit. Especially this day and age, it is incredibly uncommon to see someone wearing a pocket watch and chain, so I always get compliments on this whenever I wear it out. Next is this Bremont MB3 Pilot Watch, which has a very personal story behind it. My older brother was an F-18 naval aviator, uh, actually a bona fide Top Gun instructor. On his last tour of duty on the aircraft carrier, his squadron commissioned Bremont watches with the squadron logo on it. And he gave me the opportunity to acquire a matching watch to his final squadron watch. This is the same watch that all his squadron members commissioned. And on the back, it has his call sign, which was diesel. His squadron number was VF211, and you can see 
Greymon added the two in front of the 11th hour to have the squadron number, and then the nickname was Checkmates. And so instead of the 12 o'clock, they replaced that with the check of their logo. And then at the six o'clock, you can see the squadron logo, an F-18 fighter jet with Checkmates written underneath it. You can also see at the end of the second hand, they have the ejection lever from inside the aircraft. And the most recent watch that I acquired is this Patek Philippe Calatrava. Many people say that the Calatrava is the epitome of a formal evening watch. It's a mechanically wound watch with an hour, minute, and second hand. And I love the absolute simplicity and elegance of this dial. This is a watch that I looked at and dreamed about for years before I got to the point I was able to acquire it. The best thing about a paddock and one of the characteristics of these watches I absolutely love is the fact that they really hold their value. So in say five years, if I ever wanted to switch this watch out for one, let's say that was slightly more complicated, there's no question that I could get 100% of my money out of this watch, especially because I bought it so well. So being able to have watches that have meaning and a story behind them make them incredibly special to wear. And every single time I wear one of these watches and I glance down at my wrist to tell the time, it's more than just a timepiece. It's a story and an experience that accompanies it. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about my watch collection and hearing the stories behind each of these timepieces. If you have any questions about anything I discussed in this video, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other accessories for the well-dressed. And while you're there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches and promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell in the upper right-hand corner so that you know whenever we release new videos. I'm Kirby Allison, and here at The Hanger Project, we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.